I had an earlier question where I said I reinterpreted it after learning some things from you. This one might be one to reinterpret as well. The question written here says, how do I brush my baby's teeth at two teeth? Well, that can be what's the physical way do I get in there and clean those teeth. And the other way to interpret that, I know as a new granddad, could be, how do I do this, right? Oh my goodness, how do I do this? So you can handle either one of those if you'd like to, yeah. uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Long. How do I brush my baby's teeth when the child has two teeth? Yeah. So for sure at, at that age, they may not even cooperate. They, they may not even... May not cooperate. Yes, they I'm will sorry. not cooperate. Maybe your child... Anyway, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I have so a great they, grandson. So they, they will cry and they it, it will seem like they're in pain almost. And, and that's where uh, parents and, and grandparents can, can get scared. And uh, But we have to decide what's the most important thing, right? Um, it's, it's really those teeth need to be cleaned. So we, we have to do it, and if the child cries, then we, we have to be consistent. And maybe one night we will, um, the child is crying too much and, and we'll sort of give up, and then the next day we try again, and then with our finger try to, to go between the lips, uh, and then maybe use a little bit more force, but remember with your finger, there's no pain. And if you're not sure, test it on yourself. If you're really mm. not sure that you're hurting your child or not, test it on yourself. Yeah. And if it doesn't hurt, you know you're not hurting your child, and he or she is probably crying because they don't like it, right? They, yeah. they don't want to be touched. They don't want to open their. Doesn't have milk on it, yes. so. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so uh, so just like change, changing diapers, so they'll roll and, and they'll move and they'll bite, they'll cry, uh, and uh, as parents, our job is to make sure they're healthy, and we have to do what we have to do, and uh, them not liking it is not a reason to stop. So uh, and we are parents. Or yes, grandparents and that, that, that that's our job, and uh, if we are consistent. And the child knows that, you know what, uh, yesterday was like this, and now today I know I'm expecting it, it's coming. So then they'll open their mouth for a bit, and then, you know what, it's not too bad, it's not, it's not that bad, there's no pain. Uh, and then they'll open their mouth and they'll cooperate, and it's gonna, and it's gonna become fun, just like the, the bathing. Yeah. Um, and afterwards, that's where they, they pick up that good routine. And then now, if uh, things are not like that, then they're like, where is it? I, I want it now, right? So, so that's that's how you you instill this uh, this lifelong skill. Very very important. Well, you know, I, I think in our minds when we say brushing teeth, we can see little Johnny or little Sally standing there at the sink with a toothbrush. Well, clearly, my six month old is not standing there. So, yeah. lying down position, and you're going to start earlier yes. anyway because of the gums we're going to clean. Lying down, and we're going to yes. massage and rub. Right, and, that's and, and it's trial and error. There, okay. There's no uh, one-size-fits-all technique, per se. Uh, it's just whatever surface of the teeth you see exposed, chances are bacteria can go there. So just, just clean it. So uh, you know, all around, around the teeth and between with, with the uh, floss. Great. And Dr. Julie, I know that for adults, uh, a lot of dentists recommend you know, you're brushing your teeth more than once a day. Is that also the same recommendation when you're first starting to take care of, of your young child's teeth? I mean, is it once a day enough? Is it more than once a day? What's, what would you recommend? Well, at, at least once a day when, when they're young. Um, twice a day, it's usually a good general rule, but you know, moms are always busy and we have the schedule and there's, you know, the kids, we need to take care of them, we have to sleep train them. Um, all these things happening, life gets really busy. Mm -hmm. um, if you can do it once a day, um, it's still better than nothing. And if I, can day, only, if I can only do it once a day, is there a, is there a recommended time that's better than any other before time? Before any sleeping time. Before sleeping, before sleeping time. time. Okay. And um, actually even before they nap, if it's possible, because again, well, when they're sleeping, um, they don't have as much saliva. So um, if there's any sugar on the teeth, bacteria, um, this is when they will strive the most. Um, so before any sleep time, nap time, that's the best. If they want to do it more than once a day, they're more than welcome to. If you well, then you're getting those good habits going yes. again, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but um, if, if we try to say do so many times, um, practically it may not happen in real life just because things get really busy, but at least once a day. So at least before, once a day, if the, you can do more, that's great. Yes. But the once a day is critical. Yes. And if you can only do the once before sleep is the before most sleep, important. Yes. Okay.